Welcome to the Sphere of Grace. I am Pastor Shogun Baji. Thank you for tuning in and God bless you. Today we're looking at learning the Word. Learning the Word. It's important you learn the Word of God because this is a proper education in the Kingdom of God. The Bible tells us in Matthew 4 and verse 4, it says, Man made in the image of God shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. You see, our education in Christ is by the word. If you are well read out there in the world and you know a lot about Western education, but you don't know so much about God's word, you're still unlearned in the things of God. It has nothing to do with whether you have bagged a BSc or MSc or PhD or whatever. All right, as important as those degrees are, they cannot take the place of your knowledge of God's word. The Bible says it is by knowledge that the just shall be delivered. You see, the knowledge of God's word is power. It empowers you to walk in liberty. It empowers you to walk in dominion. So you have to learn the word. You have to give yourself to learning the word. And that was the difference between Mary and Martha. Mary was, I mean, at uh, the feet of the master, learning the word of God, receiving, you know, words from the mouth of our Lord Jesus Christ. But Martha was combat with many things, you know. And the Lord Jesus said to uh, Martha, he says, Martha, Martha, you are combat, you know, by many things. But one thing is needful. And Mary has chosen that part. No man shall be able to take it from her. You see, the knowledge of God's word that you have is your asset, is your treasure, is your inheritance. Everywhere you go, it goes with you. And you can always produce results by the word of God in your spirit. If you don't have it there, it's not there. You have to put it there. And that's why the Bible tells us evidently in John chapter 8 and verse 32, it says, And you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. And that's one of the blessings of learning the word. It will set you free. You live in freedom and liberty because you know the truth. The truth empowers you to live in the liberty that Jesus Christ has purchased for you. And you are not entangled again with the yoke of bondage because you have learned the word and you're living by the word of God. It's important you learn the word of God and grow in the knowledge of God's word. Proverbs 4.20 tells us, it says, My son, attend to my word. You see, you must attend to the word of God. You must give attention to God's word and you learn God's word daily. You receive the ministry of God's word and you grow in the knowledge of God's word. Putting God's word to work. That's how to build your life on a solid rock. And that's how to be generational in the impact that you make. Because God's word is eternal. And as you learn God's word and receive that eternal word into your spirit, you begin to make eternal impact. You begin to, you know, uh, live your life for eternal significance. And that's why it's important to learn the word of God. You must give heed to the word of God. Learn the word of God today. Read your Bible, read books written about the Bible, all right, and books that are in line with the truth of God's Word. Read them and learn the Word of God. Learn about who you are in Christ. Learn about, you know, what Jesus Christ has done for you. Learn about how to submit to the Lordship of Jesus Christ, who the Father is. Learn about how to respond to His fatherhood, how to receive from Him. Learn about prayer. A lot to learn in Christ, all right. So, the earlier you start, the better. Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I believe you've been blessed today. Until I come your way again tomorrow, keep living and basking in the sphere of grace. I love you and God bless you.